The Troy men's basketball team look for a win in a wideout rival game against the South Alabama Jaguars to help their spot in the Sunbelt Conference standings. Unfortunately for the men, luck was just not on their side. Head coach Phil Cunningham recaps the loss. Well, we never could get anything going offensively in the first half. Uh, we made one good run and, and cut the lead, I think, down to two. And, 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 and I think we had a couple of Javen hit back-to-back -back threes. And, and then we let them extend the lead there at halftime. And, and then in the second half, we cut it to eight early on. But we never really never really got back in it after that. But just, you know, when a team plays a zone for 40 minutes, you got to step up and loosen it up, make some threes. And we just didn't do that today. Troy's biggest struggle came from behind the arc as they only shot 6 of 22 due to a tough Jaguar zone defense. It's a tough loss. I mean, this team's been through a lot and, and uh, with, with injuries and, and from a personnel standpoint. And, you know, they, they've got a lot of pride about them and they wanted to, you know, they, they were ready to play today. And then, you know, what, what you could see in the huddle was the pressure mounting every time you come to the huddle, you know, them feeling like it's getting away from us. And, and I, think the, I think the pressure just, you know, buckled us a little bit there in, in the second half. Senior Alex Hicks still managed to have a record night against the Jaguars, dropping 21 points and snagging 12 rebounds. It marked his fifth double-double this season and his third 20-point game. Although Hicks was proud of the performance, he says it's still a loss. Uh, it feels good, but I'm not. Uh, I'm happy about it, but not totally because we lost the game and against our rivalry. But it's all right. We made uh, some mistakes on defense, and we weren't communicating. The men will play their share of Texas teams this week for their final two home games.